Well, you can't keep me away from a good superhero movie, so here we are to take a look at Thor Ragnarok, directed by Taika Waititi. Thor's long-lost sister Hela, the goddess of death, played by Cate Blanchett, has returned to Asgard to bring about Ragnarok, which will ultimately lead to the destruction of the Asgardian civilization. Thor tries to stop her, but it doesn't go well because, well, you saw what happened in the trailer. And through a wacky turn of events, the God of Thunder finds himself a prisoner on another planet and forced to compete in some intergalactic gladiatorial games. Say that five times fast. But Thor is not about to give up on Asgard just yet, so he forms a team consisting of his backstabbing brother, a drunken Valkyrie, the Rockbiter's distant Maori cousin, and a big green monster that likes to smash things. And then it gets weird. Now, so far, the Thor movies have been among the weaker in the MCU. Not necessarily bad movies, mind you. They're still good, I enjoyed them, but they haven't really been up to par with, say, the Captain Americas and Iron Mans of the Marvel Cinematic Universe. But Ragnarok is a different story. This is easily the best Thor movie to date, and definitely one of the best in the entire MCU so far. This is a very silly movie. It's, uh, I, I had a lot of fun with this. I really did. It's very, very different in tone compared to previous entries in the series. It's a lot less Winter Soldier and more Guardians of the Galaxy, and I think it's a change that works in Thor's favor. Right from that opening scene with Thor dangling from that chain in Surtur's lair and just slowly rotating, just that right there lets you know exactly what you're in for, and it was a wild ride. The film is irreverent as all hell, but at the same time it still deals with some very serious topics like the plight of refugees and dealing with your country's history of colonialism. Now did it strike the right balance between the serious and the silly? Mm. I would say maybe not quite. Honestly, I think it went a little bit too far on the silly side at times. They probably could have reeled it in just a bit, but it was still a lot of fun. The special effects look fantastic. The action sequences were a lot of fun. I especially enjoyed that big gladiator fight between Hulk and Thor. And Mark Mothersbaugh's score sounded pretty good, especially when they get to the planet Sakaar and it takes on this kind of 80s synth-heavy vibe. Somehow I did not know Mothersbaugh did the music for this movie going into it. It was only afterward that I thought, man, that score was pretty good. I wonder who did it. And I look it up and, oh, it's a guy from Devo. Well, of course it was. And they use Immigrant Song for not one, but two fight scenes. Because if you're gonna cough up the money to use a Led Zeppelin song, you want to make sure you get your money's worth. And I'm not complaining, it's a great song, and a rather appropriate song for Thor. Quite a few familiar faces in this movie. We still got Chris Hemsworth, Tom Hiddleston, and Anthony Hopkins. All have settled into these characters very well at this point. And Hopkins basically gets to play two characters this time around, because he's not just playing Odin, but also... Loki pretending to be Odin, which was hilarious. We get a little bit of Idris Elba as Heimdall, sadly not as much as I would have liked, but what can you do? A brief but very awesome Doctor Strange cameo. And of course, Ruffalo is back as the Hulk, and unlike his previous appearances, he probably spends most of his time in this movie in Hulk form. And he's not just a big green rage monster anymore. His personality has developed a bit, and he even has a very limited vocabulary. And Thor has some very funny moments with both Bruce Banner and the Hulk, as apparently each is convinced that Thor likes the other one more, and he has to try to convince him, no, 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 you were always my favorite. I love that. Sadly, Natalie Portman is no longer around, because apparently between films, Jane Foster dumped Thor's ass. He claims it was a mutual dumping, but no. But on the plus side, no Cat Dennings either. I'd say it's a fair trade. And of course, we got a bunch of new characters as well. We got Tessa Thompson as Valkyrie, who was awesome. A former warrior woman turned mercenary who does odd jobs to pay for her massive drinking problem. She's a great fighter, even when she's not sober, and easily as capable as Thor in a fight. And she is definitely the type who drinks to forget. And clearly, she has a lot to forget. Thompson did a fantastic job with this character. I certainly hope we see more of her in the future. And she had probably the best introduction of any character in this franchise. I laughed so hard at that. Of course, we also have Hela, played by Kate Blanchett. And man, this bitch is scary. 
She is a ruthless conqueror, damn near invincible on the battlefield. The other Asgardians are almost comically underpowered against her. And she's got that huge friggin' headdress, which does not wobble once in the entire movie. She looks so majestic and moves with such grace and poise. But if you cross her, she will murder your ass without a second's thought. And I don't think anyone but Blanchett could have played this part. That was perfect casting. The director also has a small acting role in this movie, or at least a voice acting role. He plays Korg, who is this weird blue rock monster that Thor befriends in the gladiator pit. And he was a fun guy. Very soft-spoken, but a strong fighter. And we got Jeff Goldblum as the Grand Master. And this is Jeff Goldblum at his Jeff Goldblumiest. He has fully embraced everything that he is, and he's just running with it, and it is glorious. If you haven't seen Ragnarok yet, I do recommend it. It's a lot of fun, well worth the full price of admission, and it's another great entry in the MCU that brings us one step closer to Infinity War. And make sure you stick around until the very end of the credits. And that's about all I got to say about Thor Ragnarok. Till next time, take care.